Hey guys, I love lost PLA casting, but FDM printers aren't great at small and detailed. So now I have the Alugu Mars resin printer, I was keen to test out its capabilities with a little lost wax casting. I headed over to Thingiverse and found this skull. I imported this into Blender and filled in a few holes. I'm still learning Blender, so I switched to Fusion 360 to add a hole location for a chain. I even decided to risk the continued wrath of the casting gods by sneaking in my logo. I also attached a sprue, ready for casting. I thought I'd experiment with printing angle to see which got the best results. Whilst they were all good, the best for me were those that printed on their sides. Silicon moulds are easy to make, but silicon is quite expensive. So keeping things minimal is always best. This is an empty paint pot a simple plastic bottle, but anything non-absorbent and clean will do for a mould box. A bit of molten wax acts as a seal. This is the silicon I'm using. It's mixed in a ratio of 10 to 1 by weight, and it's stirred well by hand. Once poured it can be tapped or vibrated to remove trapped air but I have a vacuum chamber, so I'll be using that, which is by far the best method. It can take up to 24 hours to set, depending on the quantity, but this one set overnight. The plastic bottle was cut away with a sharp utility knife, and this same tool is used to carefully slice into the silicon. Just cut gently, easing the silicon apart until you reach the pattern. Neatness doesn't really matter, just don't cut off any pieces. Keep the silicon whole. Eventually you can pull away the pattern with ease, and personally I like to keep one side of the silicon intact to act like a hinge. I put back the plastic bottle and wrap some tape around this for support. Last week I demonstrated my lost wax casting injection setup. It's simple, but it really works. I allow 5 to 10 minutes after injection for the wax to cool. The silicon is then pushed free of the plastic support and gently prized apart to remove the wax pattern. Not bad, eh? Some have flashing, but this wax is easily trimmed away and better to do it now than when it's metal. A hole is easily drilled by hand through the soft wax. I'm still using my PLA basin and sprue setup, though I've replaced the central sprue with wax. Again, I'm using the straw technique to get the vacuum all the way inside the flask. My last outing with pewter wasn't brilliant, but someone sent me this brand new tin-based pewter to try. It pours nice.
but there's no satisfying plunge to remove the plaster. <sighs> Here we go again. Um, some more flashing, but it's not looking too bad. Actually, most of that flashing was so thin, it disappeared when I was washing away the excess plaster. But look at the detail. Look at those teeth. A little rub with a small steel brush removes the majority of the remaining flashing. Clean up with a small hand file is effortless. This pewter file is much better than the last lot. I took two and sprayed the recesses black to see how they'd look. Then everything went in the tumbler for half an hour. And that, amazingly, was that. It couldn't have been an easier cleanup. All ten castings came out perfectly. All of them retained great detail. And all of them kept my logo. So I finally slipped one past the casting gods. We're watching you, bitch boy. Tumbling uses stainless steel shot. And these act like tiny hammers, burnishing the metal. Pewter is quite soft so a tiny bit of detail was lost, especially on the sprayed ones. These ended up having three hours in the tumbler to remove the paint, and the detail has gone. So I don't really like those. <laughs> you might not think that these have got great detail at all, but for their size, I'm thrilled with them, and I'll be placing eight of these on my Etsy store if you fancy buying one. The proceeds go to supporting my channel. So there you go guys, small, accurate, detailed prints with the Illigu Mars becoming almost equally detailed castings using Lost Wax casting. And if you're wondering where the Lost Resin casting is, well stay tuned. Not long to wait now guys. So take care guys, and thanks for watching. <laughs>